Gobble the game night, gobble the game night, gobble the game night, yeah. Hey guys, Gobble the game here, and I am playing some more Super Metroid and Madden from videos. And it's Metroid Month. Yes. You we always forget to say that. To, we're on our way to fight Quake. This is our brand new tradition every August on Gobble the game night. It's going to be Metroid Month. Yes, I'll just play Super Metroid over and over. And we're doing a little bit over on Vidiacy. We're going to be streaming some Metroid games at twitch.tv slash and we'll have a uh, Metroid-centric Vidiotic Theories. So we're going to get in on the fun, and we encourage anybody else out there to do so as well. Let's make Metroid Month not quite as big as all the month, but let's make it nearly as big. How about that? Yeah. And I killed Quaid. Okay, we win. No, that's nice. Yeah, I believe up here is an energy refill. Am I correct? Yes. You sure you can't do quick grade? I'm pretty sure I can attempt. No, I don't want you to embarrass yourself. It's too late. I attempted that. I, was, I, I already did that with Spurs one skip. Oh, we didn't edit that part out? Nope. Oh. I'll stay in there. Wait, give me my suit missiles. I need, I need like two more. Did I say you want energy? I s this, this one no one likes you. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> now I need that energy. <laughs> yeah, I can mess up on some spikes. No. Stop oh, coming. I need that energy back. Open up and let me shoot these missiles in your eye. These guys just shoot them in the eye. You can also use zoom missiles to kill them, but I want to save my zoom missiles. And here's Quaid. It's a blank boom. Oh, but there's rocks now, and you can shoot the rocks. They, most, they get in the way of my Quaid quick kill most of the time. Swim in the eyes. Like, I got two hits in. I think you need to get like three or four. Man, if you could have just gotten that third one. Okay, get shot in the eyes, please. Oh, open up your mouth, thank you. Got like one more hit. Quaid's dead. So it wasn't too much slower than a quick kill. Because Quaid is a really easy boss. And we get the Varia suit. Oh, Varia. If I say Varia. Bam. Now yeah. we got big shoulders. I feel kind of bad that I missed that on this game when it came out. But if it had come out like two years earlier, I probably would have been all over it. It's going to be Quaid. You, you should play it one day. I, I'm super nostalgic for the original Metroid. It's one of my all-time favorite games, just in terms of good memories and the way the music just hits you right in the feels. You know, like oh, I remember the days playing that. Yeah, the music is great. I don't have a similar experience with this. I, I legitimately never played this game. I mean, I had a Super Nintendo, but I don't know. By '94, I was not super focused on video games, just specific ones, <laughs> and this just wasn't really on my radar. You should play it. That's great. But do you know why the Vary Suit has big shoulders? Shoulder pads. Because uh, in Metroid 2, of course, it was on the Game Boy, meaning that they couldn't really just oh, change the colors, color. Yeah. So they needed some other way to differentiate yeah. the Vary Gotcha. And that's like uh, it's big shoulder pads. Again, though, why doesn't Samus just have it? Why does she have to go back and get it again? Because gameplay. Couldn't it be like upgrades to all these things, or couldn't there have been something in the story where her stuff was damaged and not functional? I mean, it, it does do that in Metroid Prime, but I think that's pretty much like the only. Is one this that Metroid I'm Prime, in. sir? No, I actually don't reference Metroid Prime in a Super Metroid video. I am being Metroid. What does Prime. the matter with you? Well, you should have done that for the inaugural Metroid Month. Anyway, now we're down here. And there's a power bomb though there. Huh. I don't know what that does. Did you just knock those guys off by hitting that? Yes, because the zoom cool. missiles are that strong. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Sam has got an E tank. She's gonna take it to the E bank. I saw missiles. No. What yes, I did? Go. I said well, nice. I, know. I said nice. First we go in here. Pick up the high jump boots. It's the Pegasus boots, now you can run really fast! 
These are probably like the second a third most useless upgrade. I feel like I almost never when we're doing the Super Metroid like the past crossover randomizer, I feel like I almost never get the high jump boots for it. I feel like they're almost always in Metroid. I mean, they're not very useful. These are like jump a little higher, which isn't really required. I know, but it seems like half the time you have to get the boots for me, but I don't feel like I ever get the boots for you. Because when we do it, I always play the Zelda and Dylan plays Metroid. Yeah, because I'm awesome at Metroid, so look at me go. We should probably reverse that at some point. Yeah. I'm not that good at it. I, I went to the past. And I've never played Super Metroid, other than a screen or two just messing around. Uh. Now this, you also need to do Mark Ball do, but it's a little bit harder. And that's why I did it first try. I'm good at Mark Ball. You just want to make yourself, it's really hard. I might be able to, oh look, first try. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm good at Mark Ball. Okay. Ha ha, you're just a stupid little ball. See, I can Mark Ball too. <laughs> I'm going to do here. We get the ice beam. Technically, we were supposed to get the speed booster before getting the ice beam. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice. To be honest, the ice beam isn't great because it technically makes all our enemies take like one more hit to kill. Since yeah. it freezes them and stuff. But it does allow you to turn some of them into platforms. Yeah. It's gonna be useful for sequence breaking. Not as much in this game as other games. I accidentally froze that guy. Can you get unfrozen, please? Thank you. I mean, it looks pretty necessary right here, so... Nah. How are you going to get through that little space? I'd go the other way around. No. Okay. Well, why don't you do it then, Mr. Sequence because Breaker? Because that was quicker. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Anyway, that's everything in there. Now. I will get hit by, look, I will fail to... I feel like Metroid is one of those games where you're going to take hits. And it's like, there's, I'm sure there are people who can go through it really smoothly and not get hit much, but I feel like pretty much you're going to take damage in Metroid. It's just the way it is. And sometimes you just get stuck in a spot where you take a lot of damage, and it's just like, ugh, come on! It's not fun. I feel like I normally get stuck taking a lot of damage just because... It just sometimes I'm playing, I'm, it's like, I'll be doing great, but then suddenly, oh, how do I play again? We well, you know there are some games. If you're really good at them, you can get through without taking any damage. In some cases, or, or much damage, usually. Metroid doesn't feel like one of those games. It feels like a game where you're you're going to take damage. You might as well just accept the fact that you're going to take damage. Uh, that's a missile. I'm not I'm not risking HP for that. You can never have too many missiles. Until you have too many missiles. Wow, you countered my logic with more logic. <laughs> I'm speechless. I mean, this room, lava. The ice beam can also freeze. You reckon this is where they got kill. the floor's lava from? I doubt it. Oh. Well, I never heard of it before Super Metroid, did you? I wasn't bored before Super Exactly! <laughs> Point proven. I, I don't think that's how it looks. Anyway, down here is a secret passageway. These two. Fast and his missiles. I thought this was an energy tank. It's been a while since I played the base game of this. I mean, missiles, exactly what I knew was that. Because, you know, you can never have too many missiles. Until you have too many missiles. Oh! True. See? See? I one up you. <laughs> anyway, I'm saving, just in case I die. Are we fixing to do something difficult? No. It's like I'm not planning to die, but, you know, just in case. Carry on my wayward son. That jump he can only There'll do with the hard jump boots. You return. Oh wait, I think it's when you are done. Damn it, I screwed it up. That's why I like where the where the where the where the stuff go. What stuff? The stuff that was on the floor there. The lava? Yeah. It's like that. This totally looks like Gemini Man stage from Mega Man 3. Uh my personal favorite Mega Man game. I mean Mega Man 3 is pretty good. Mega Man 3 is awesome. All the Mega Man's are pretty good. Introduces Proto Man, it introduces the slide. Slide. Mega Man Fun introduces the charge beam. I mean, Rush with Rush Jet and Rush Submarine. Come on. Mega Man 3 is the best. 
Mega Man 2 is great too, but I actually prefer the first Mega Man to Mega Man 2. I'd go 3 1 2 personally, but they're all really good. Yeah. I'm not sure what I put them in. Anyway, I got more muscles. That I was closed slick. that guy below the. I didn't mean to. I mean, I meant to do that. That was on Hump Sentin. Do you spinny jump? No, get out of the. A <laughs> slick move followed by. I can't get out of the lava. Gosh dang it. Oh, so am I dying for me? Would you die for me? No. God was asking a lot from people. Ow. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make this jump. If I actually need the speed boost to make this jump, I don't know. I've only ever done like once during the Iamizer. Well, I can make this jump no more. The problem is, that guy, he's got annoying. You know, I may have passed him first try. Hmm. All these tricks I'm saying, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it. Then I just do it first try. This room looks pointless. Which well. must mean there's a secret. <laughs> and this just spawns in this. But this one actually spawns five enemies. But they're all grouped together. But they're actually great for giving you little power-ups. And energy. But you know, you'll need it if you don't have the various suit. Like if you're doing like reverse ball soda. Which I, once again, cannot do. At least not yet. Eventually, maybe. You know, you really shouldn't spend the whole video pointing out all the stuff you can't do. Well, most of the stuff I can't do. I just want to watch a YouTube video where somebody sits around saying all the stuff they can't do. Well, I've been like, doing... I can't do that either! Well, I've been doing the stuff I can't do. I just like mentioning a bunch of stuff. It's trivia. Are you really fast now? Are you Sonic? Yes. Watch me go. I will become blue. Fuck you, are Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what are I gonna buy? I have speed booster. Oh yeah, I should probably go pick up the wave beam. Fact, we're picking up the wave beam makes. Did you get the wave beam already? No, I got the space uh, the ice beam. Oh. Did I make a joke about the wave beam in the other episode? Maybe that might have been it. But those things are like they're straight out of Mega Man as well. I used to have a bit of trouble with these platforms. Now I do not because I'm great at this game. I'm the best Super Metroid player ever. That is, that is not true. Do not take my word. Oh, that, that looked like it hurt. Don't worry, I can just wall jump up here. Shouldn't you have like the rope beamy? Yeah, but you don't need it at all to get this. What's it actually called? Uh, the grapple beam. Rope Beam was the original title. That, that, was, that was the chapter. Grapple Beam is just the US translation. Totally. Yep. The Rope Beam is what it's called in Japan. And now my shots can travel through walls. This is pretty nice. I that's, think it does a little bit more damage. That's what Wave Beam does? Yes. That's weird. I don't know why that's weird, but that's not what I think of when I think Wave Beam. What makes the molecules wave through the the other molecules? I would honestly think of being, you know, like, shot out in waves. I mean, it does do that. See, now they go, like, up and down. Oh. Um. That's all it did was in the original. Which was useful, because you couldn't, like, duck and shoot. You either stand and go in your mothball. Yeah. And also, I'm pretty sure, like, the only beam upgrades, like, wave beam. Wait, what's the use of this one? Why am I here? I think I went through here backwards. I did. Metroid Master. <laughs> You're supposed to go through this area. Like the lava rises and covers up the entrance over there, I think. So you can't go back. Well, this is four minutes of all of our lives we're never going to get back. I went with four minutes. I was on like two minutes and fifty seconds. I don't know how far back you have to go. Not that far back. I but but you have to double it though. Head. The time it took to go down there and the time it takes to go back. Yeah, like two minutes so, tall. Oh, come on. It's more than that. 
when you edit when you edit this, I want you to go back in time exactly how much time was lost with you going there for no reason. Uh, for me leaving the way beam room to there. And back to here. Uh, I believe wait. Do you need a power bomb spot? God dang it you do. Why the fuck do I leave this place? When do you get power bombs? Uh later. Why'd you blow the thing up for nothing? I don't know where I'm going. Metroid Master. Five oh, things. Where am I going? Metroid Master! Is that way down from over there? I feel like there should be. I'm not. Oh, I'm lost in my favorite Metroid game. I. <laughs> I've played the randomizer too much. Yeah, I can understand that. Because no might have power bombs at this point. Because you get power bombs way before the most bomb normally. I think I can go down here, right? This takes me to down there, right? Yeah. You you go through these tubes. Oh. Now I'm back on track. Now you go back through on this track. Door. And we're also going to use the wave beam, there's also a trick, you can do it through missiles, but I, I'm just going to use the wave beam because I have it. Yeah, why would you waste super missiles if you didn't need to? Yeah. And we're actually going to where you get the grapple beam, which you're supposed to, which you're supposed to get before the wave beam. Why were those space pirates red? Because they're stronger. So like they go through some process to become stronger and turn red, or they just born red, so they're automatically. It's the stronger. same reason blue moblins are stronger than red moblins. That's the answer. Anyway, here's a crocodile. Crocmire. Yeah. <laughs> I always hit him with only a missile first, and so I always only take like one step back. But then you can swim with two missiles. Makes him take like five steps back. It can squeeze two missiles in his mouth if you're quick enough. Come on, bro, you're literally one step, one step away, bro. Oh, apparently he is two steps away. Yep, there you go. Now while he's dying, I'm gonna just jump over here and get the sea tank. Again, would have been much more satisfying if it was the bow or the hammer or... I mean, these things are very useful. I suppose. I mean, I did have to jump through acid to get to it. Maybe uh, that's acid because the gruesome. gravity suit doesn't help with it. And now, oh no! Apparently, it helped, I go? apparently it helped some considering how quickly he oh, was just disintegrated. I'm saying the gravity suit doesn't help you survive the acid, but you can go through lava with the gravity suit. Not just that it's technically called acid, is that what I call it? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I haven't read the manual. Anyway, this wall is shaking. Okay, let me go look over here. The tips of those spikes all separated for a minute. Hmm. Is there something behind me? Oh, that's just gruesome. I don't know, it's nothing. Bam, jump! Bam. Olympic jump over here. And... I believe you can make the jump, like, right here. And now we're getting power bombs. Finally. Yeah, you're supposed to get the gravel beam from Crocomire, then go like all the way back up the tower to get the gravel beam. Then go get like the way- You just said get the gravel beam from Crocomire, then go up the tower to get the gravel beam. Wait. What were you trying to say? It's about to- It's about to get the gravel beam from Crocomire, I believe. Then go get like the wave beam and the speed booster, then go get the ice beam, then go all the way back up to get the power bombs. Then I come back down here. Gotcha. Or something. Do you come back to that? 
No, I think you go to the wax ship after getting I don't know. Bombs. Again, never played the game. Ne I never watched anybody play it either. I've, and I've you never in the background occasionally. Look, I've never played this game in the correct sequence. Man, I'm so good at platforming. That's missiles. Quick. Okay. Well, I mean, you can never have too many missiles. Until you have too many. Who that? Anyway, give me some health. Thank you. We. We. Okay, now let's go get the grapple. I gotta pick up my delivery. Right. Make, make, make sure you tip your driver. I'm pretty sure you're all supposed to. Wait. I have no idea. I guess you're supposed to go up, get the power bombs, then get the grab beam. I have no idea. I'm confused. I got the grab beam, though. Grappling beam. beam! Yeah, I get. I guess Metroid players who don't like saying the ING of anything. Uh huh. Because the uh, morph, we say morph. I mean, instead of morphing, we say morph. We say grappling, we say grapple. Ow, you hit me with ice, bro. That's not very nice, bro. Where do I need the grappling there? You know, there's this wall jump. Now, here you need the grappling. Unless you have like the gravity suit, but oh my God, Samus is Tarzan. Yes, yes she is. Oh. So think about it. She was adopted by non-human people, and she can swing. Non-human people. Yes. And she's a swinging. Anyway, we're done enough, I believe. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah, we should probably call it here, right at the save point. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for watching this episode, Gotham. Like, comment, subscribe. Good to have VSC. And most importantly, Happy Metroid Month. Good night. Gobble the game night, gobble the game night, gobble the game night, yay. Come on and watch him play games every other day. If you subscribe now, you won't miss out on any of the action. So come on, click that subscribe button.